Hi guys, this is Awais back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. So in this video, I'm going to discuss two things. I'm going to discuss Design Center and a Content Explorer. So what basically is Design Center is? To access Design Center on your ribbon, go to your Insert panel and then click on here Design Center. But I'm going to show you the shortcut keys ADC, type ADC, enter and you get this dialog box which is called a design center so I'm just gonna go back so I can show you where you need to go in this design center here you got your um, library of your computer you can access any folder in your computer you can even access a local network drive which you can access you can see that here as well so the main thing what we're gonna do is you need to go this sample let's say I'll just minimize that for now you need to go to this sample folder maximize it in the in the sample folder you need to maximize English dash US maximize that and then there you can find this design center so click on that and then just expand that as well so in design center you got few drawings made by AutoCAD already so let's say you are building a kitchen stuff let's say you got refrigerator you got your cooking stuff there so let's say you need to make a cabinet right well in most cases that you would like to make a cabinet but in 2d drawings we don't really show what we are making so we can use these cabinets made by autocad already so it's free for us to use so just click on this kitchen or you can expand that all right once you expand that you got few more properties of this drawing you have access to blocks you got access to design view styles, dimension, you got access to layers. You can even import layers from this drawing to your drawing. But in this video, I'm going to talk about blocks. So just click on this and then in this uh, window, you get this blocks. You got that you can access block here as well, but I prefer using it here. So I'll just click on that. You need to double click to open that block. So in that file, we got these blocks made for us and it's very easy to use so we got base cabinet we got dishwasher we got phone jack so let's say in the kitchen area right i want to use this microwave so it's already been made and in 2d drawings all we have to do is just use them so to bring these blocks to your drawing you can do it two ways you can just click and drag and it just drop it there or you can just double click and it will pop up the insert menu and you can type the name you can change that name to your block and click OK which is going to let you draw but it's going to give you a few more options once you do that you get the um, option of rotation angle I want to keep that zero and I press spacebar now which will drop that if you drag that it will come automatically on a zero degree angle so let's show you a few more uh, files we got here I use kitchen all the time because I work for architecture stuff so if you work for electrical stuff let's say you got this all basic electronics so I expand that and go to the blocks so you got battery capacitor I don't know about this stuff but just to show you guys you can use these as well all right let's go to home space planner if you expand that go to your blocks you got that you got a lot of stuff here which you can use um, for your drawing let's say I've got dining set here I've got desk here if you click on that once it will you can see the preview of that block here you got the sofa you got piano baby a lot of stuff here so all you have to do is just drag them or double click to insert as a block so this is about um, design center I hope you like it Right, now let's talk about Content Explorer. It's a new service that uh, was introduced in, I think, Adria 2012. It's basically, you can access internet and there's, of, there's thousands of um, objects already made by AutoCAD or any other people who upload that for you guys to use. So I'll close that and I'll type Content Explorer. Oops, I just opened that again. Well, content, type content, it will finish up the command for you. Click here. All right, so now I've got this um, 
dollar box here which is called content explorer I'm just gonna increase the size of it so you guys can see that all right so in this folder you got a few folders let's say you got a lot of products here you got beams casework ceiling system chairs trust me there's like thousands of them available here all right so now to access the internet library you need to make sure that you're signed in your auto auto that's 360 and you have access to the library let's find some chairs all right so i will First, let me show you, you have to click on this arrow button and go to your Autodesk Seek. So make sure you're not on an Autodesk content service. If you are in there, then you have to search through your um, local library. Let's say you got a few stuff in your drawing, um, design center, but you don't know where to find them. So you can search for them right there. Just type the name and it will bring up for you. But in this video, I'm just going to access the online Autodesk Seek library. So I'll double click on these chairs, all right? Once I click, it's gonna go browse the internet and show me products, whatever available. Let's say I've got this chair. I like this chair, all right? So to access that, to bring that in your drawing, so you got two. You can see the number of files here as well. So double click that; it will open that drawing. So in this um, chair, you got one 2D file. And you got your 3D file, so you can use both. So let's say I want to use this 2D chair in this room. All right. So to bring that, you can just drag that. It's so easy, and just leave your cursor there. And now it's gonna ask you for the block name because it's gonna convert that chair to a block, and it's bringing that from the internet. So it's gonna ask you to enter a name. So I'll type chair, chair one. Maybe I had a another block before so I click OK it's telling me that chair one already exists so I have to redefine it. click on yes and once you click on your drawing it's gonna ask you to enter the scale factor but I wanna keep that one so I'll just press enter now it's asking me scale factor Y so I just enter again now I can I just zoom in to show you what's happening basically in the drawing. So now after applying my scale factor, I've got this um, rotation. Spe it's asking me to specify rotation, but I want to keep that zero. You can even type whatever the angle you want, but I'm just gonna type enter. Now it's asking me to block attributes. I can type part number options. I can give it tags or uh, whatever you need. So I'll just click OK. And there you go. We got the chairs from the internet. Like the you, the stuff you available in Design Center, they're not really good, and they've been there for like since AutoCAD 2000. So, but on the internet, there's a lot of cool stuff there. Let me show you the 3D model of that. I just drag that here, and just drop it there. It's actually syncing that 3D model because the size is a bit in increased. Size is a bit large, so type the name, blah blah blah. Enter, enter scaling factor, yes, okay, yes, and rotation angle zero, done. Click OK, and then you got your chair. So you go to your 3D, go back to your home panel on your ribbon, and change. Let's say you hold down your shift key and press your mouse wheel and just move. So I don't want to go to my 3D modeling workspaces. I've got few, uh, series coming up for the 3D modeling, so you can see that as well. All right, so let's go for fun 3D basic. And in the realize tab, you can change that to space gray. There you go, guys. You got your chair and that's it that's it for this tutorial i hope you like the information and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video